So we know 1 to the power anything equals 1, but does this hold true for the imaginary unit i? Well, let's find out. So we 1 to the power i, and we want to figure out what that equals, okay? Well, we know i equals the square root of negative 1, right? Which is also just negative 1 to the power of 1 half, right? So let's try to put that in for i up there. So 1 to the power i equals 1 to the negative 1 to the power of 1 divided by 2. Well, we haven't made any progress here. We can't really do anything with this. So we're going to stop here, okay? And let's take a different approach to see if we can figure this out. Let's recall that some number x is equal to e to the natural log of x, okay? These are equal to each other. So let's try to do that with 1 to the power i and see where we can arrive at. So, 1 to the power i equals e to the natural log of 1 to the power i, okay? Then we know the power rule, we can take i out, so that equals e to the i times natural log of 1. Now, we have two options at this point. We can just say that this equals e to the i times natural log of 1, which is 0, right, which just equals e to the 0, which equals 1. So in the, so here it does equal 1, right? So that's good, right? The other option we could do is, well, let's recall e to the i x equals cosine x plus i sine x, okay? So if we look, we can see we can do that exact same thing here. So we can say this equals cosine of the natural log of 1, plus i sine of the natural log of 1. Well, we know the natural log of 1 is 0, so this equals cosine of 0 plus i sine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, plus i times sine of 0 is 0. So this, once again, equals 1. So I, 1 to the power i does, in fact, still equal 1. Thank you for watching. Let me know if I say anything wrong or if you have anything additional to add. Have a great day.